today i'll be taking a very important topic and that is uh, ultrasound evaluation of uh, head descent in labor now during labor we assess clinically as to when the delivery is going to take place whether the delivery is progressing properly or not whether there is a need of cesarean now all these things when we assess clinically have shortcomings we may not be able to assess and get a very clear picture especially in cases where there is caput succinadium even otherwise also so many times the problem is there but once we use ultrasound that to transperineally it is very simple thing so today i am going to take that topic now let us go on to the steps how we evaluate this descent of the fetal head and progression uh, and progression of labor so um aim is what i already told you that is to assess uh, the position of the fetal head uh using a transperineal ultrasound and whether we require cesarean or a normal delivery is going to happen easily now this is how we put the probe we put the probe long to nary um maybe a little bit oblique also we'll do but more or less straight and if you see to the probe probe is kept here and we can feel the bony area of pubic symphysis with the probe on the top so close to the upper part of the probe there will be pubic symphysis and that we can feel with the probe now since it is just beneath the upper part of the probe which means the superior part of the probe so the pubic symphysis will be displayed on the monitor in the superior portion and as you know this side is the superior most side and this is the inferior most side so the pubic symphysis will start somewhere from the superior part here and it will go till it ends here fine and you can see this head which will be there posterior to the up is anterior and down is posterior so posterior to the pubic symphysis you will be seeing the head now pubic symphysis you can see in this picture is uh, starting somewhere from here and it is ending somewhere here so we draw a line through the center of the pubic symphysis like this roughly and where it ends from there we start another line and that line should go and touch the head wherever it touch touches the head tangentially we go and the angle between these two lines is what we are concerned about so you could make out what we were doing we were putting the probe here and we could feel on top the bony area and that is the pubic symphysis now suppose i move the probe up what will happen in that case the pubic symphysis will be in relationship to the lower part of the probe which means inferior part of the probe so you could see that pubic symphysis instead of being shown from here to here is coming in this area fine right? that is just to uh, be more sure about pubic symphysis in case for the beginner there's a problem now i just move on to the slide portion now okay what has been seen is that in females that once the dilatation was attained and an angle this angle was 120 degrees or more than that it means that the head is engaged and the delivery uh, delivery is going to happen after some time now uh, uh, during a study it was seen that the more the angle the lesser the time for delivery which means if the angle is uh, greater than 120 degrees but less than 135 degrees uh, approximately 40 minutes will be required between 136 to 167 degrees 20 minutes 168 to 200 around 12 minutes and greater than 
just six minutes so as I have already told you before that spontaneous delivery occurred in all the cases where the angle was more than 120 degrees in those cases where cesarean was required the angle never reached greater than 120 degrees in these cases of course cesarean is must where you find that the angle is not going beyond 120 degrees and labor is not progressing now caput succinidium head edema all these things will not affect the angle measurement but clinically it may give a false picture of progress This is what I already told you that misleading uh, picture was there when there was substantial amount of caput. Let us see these pictures here you can see this is the pubic symphysis area this is the supermost part of the pubic symphysis and this is where it is ending and we could see a line is drawn to the center here and where the line uh, uh, where the pubic symphysis is ending we draw another line and this line should touch the head and the angle between the two we have to measure. Again you can see here through the center of the pubic symphysis another line touching the head here the angle is even more and in this case the angle is uh, too much which means very shortly the delivery is going to happen in this case. This is where the caput succinatum is there and clinically you will feel this and uh, get an idea clinically that head is somewhere here but actually the head is here because the bony area is here. So while measuring we draw a line again through the center of this and then another line through this and uh, that's the reason um, when we are measuring on ultrasound the caput is not causing a problem because we are going through the uh, on top of this bony area and not here. So that's all. Enjoy.